Right now, a Norfolk mother is using her pain to push for change. This after her seven-year-old daughter, Jalen, was struck and killed by a car on Pickett Road near their home. That mother is now working on ways to slow traffic down in the neighborhood to help protect others. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell has more on her efforts and those willing to help. As the memorial for Jalen continues to grow, her mother, Sierra Coleman, is turning her grief into action. And neighbors here want to help make Pickett Road safer. They say it was only a matter of time before someone would lose their life on this street. And they're absolutely devastated that it happened to a little girl. Along this busy stretch of Pickett Road, the steady stream of cars seems endless. And neighbors saying drivers hardly ever go the 25 mile speed limit. Every day they speed up and down, they speed every day. It was along this road over Labor Day weekend where seven year old Jalen was struck and killed. <laughs> Jalen's heartbroken mother, Sierra Coleman, telling us her daughter was crossing the street near Old Court Drive just a few feet away from their home. Norfolk police saying the driver stayed on scene. So far, that driver is not accused of speeding and is not facing charges at this time. She's not coming back, and that's something I, I can never, I have to live with for the rest of my life. Coleman now pushing through her pain to make this street safer, hoping to put a stop sign or speed bump at the corner to help keep this from happening to anyone else. There's no reason why you should be flying down this road. Mike Merritt stepping in to help. He advocates for safer streets in the city. Pickett Road here is a fairly wide street, and there's not one crosswalk. Besides crosswalks, Merritt says adding bike lanes can narrow the road and slow a driver's speed. Speed bumps and changing the design of the road could also help cut down on the number of pedestrian-related car deaths. With the data from this year, you're, we're almost backtracking and going in the, in the wrong direction. But Coleman hopeful they're moving in the right direction, working to make sure Jalen's death isn't in vain and that her memory will live on. It's messed up that... This happened, but hopefully this opens people's eyes to slow down. This has been a nightmare for Jalen's family as they wait for answers. And I've reached out to police with several questions asking how fast that driver was going and if that person will face any charges. And five days later, we still don't have answers. Police have declined to respond to those questions. In Norfolk, Antoinette Elbel, News 3. And this footnote, numbers from the DMV show that there were a total of nine pedestrian-related car deaths in Norfolk last year, matching the same number of deaths in the city so far this year.